welcome Mr. Michael Canales, everybody. Come on. Mikey is a drummer, and he's also a graduate of the Berkeley School of Music. Hello. And he's going to speak to you for just a few minutes here. Right, and then we're going to play. Cool. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, students, for having me here. And it's a real honor to get to be here. Um, really got to hear you all out there for a little while, and you all sounded great. Really enjoyed what you all were playing. Uh, as Mr. Bill mentioned, my name is Mikey C. Uh, in the entertainment field, that's what I'm known as. I've uh, been playing drums for probably a good 20 years, give or take. And it's one of the best things in my life. It's pretty much what my world revolves around. I'll tell you a little bit about myself my past. Uh, I was born into a musical family. Both of my parents, families, everyone pretty much played something. Uh, when I was two years old, my mom thought it would be a riot if they bought me a little toy drum set. So there's pictures of me somewhere all around the house of me at two years old playing the little Muppets, for those of y'all remember, drum set that was, yeah. <laughs>
some of your inspirational bands that, that led you to want to play? Oh, uh, the first, um, I think the, the moment that I knew I wanted to be a musician, um, my father played for me, Led Zeppelin II. And the first time I heard Jimmy Page come out with a whole lot of love with that riff, I just, I knew that was it. I mean, I heard that and I said, that's the kind of music I want to play. So that one, Led Zeppelin was a big influence. Um, Motley Crue has always been one of my yeah. favorite bands. And, and I love Motley Crue because, basically because of their production and, and their show. I mean, I've, I've never seen a, a better production than, than Motley Crue put on. Um, I was in a rush. When I was about 12, 13, Neil Peart was, Neil Peart is still one of my idols as far as rock drumming. Um, those, were, those were some of the main influences that I had growing up. And do you wish there was a school of rock when you were coming Oh out? man, I, I would have killed for one of these to be able to just come in and jam with a bunch of students that were, were my age and be able to, to do something like that. I mean, it was, yeah, I mean, I, I played with my family. I played with other older musicians which did give me a lot of experience and it was great. I'm forever grateful to them, but you know, it would have been fun. It would have been cool to have a nice little group of, of musicians like yourselves, you know, just be able to jam and, uh, you know, who knows, maybe you, you guys can possibly, you know, do something outside and push yourselves, you know, to go out and do something beyond just here in the school. You know, that, that'd be great. Yeah, I would have loved that. It's better to have an education than it is to not have an education. And there are a lot of things that we can teach you here at the School of Rock that you will not learn anywhere else. So it's it's good if you haven't thought about it. Thank you so much.